Hey guys, welcome uh, to my next video here, and this is Mickey for the VC, and uh, I thought I'd do a quick video on some of the stuff I bought at the uh, at the show here in New York State over by um, uh, Bogville and Madison, which is the biggest antique show in New York State every year in August, and it lasts about a week. It's sort of like Brimfield Antique Show over in Massachusetts, but not quite as big, uh, the Brimfield Show is uh, about 6,600 dealers. I'd say the uh, Bock, Bockville uh, Madison show is probably about maybe 2,800 dealers. So it's still very big and it's a lot of fun. I was able to only get over there on Saturday, Sunday. So the show had been going on all week. And uh, so I didn't know what I would find. So let's let's go and talk about what I did find. Um, I, th I think I did pretty good. Um, so the first thing I bought was this uh, in a little antique shop. This was in uh, right near uh, the show, but um, there was a 78 RPM record here. Uh, the Joseph C. Smith Trio, and uh, it says Mickey. So I figured that'd be nice for my game room. I could hang it on the wall. I have no idea. Uh, Kisses is on the other side, as you can see. But I have no idea, you know, what this is sound like. It's more of a wall hanger for me. So I thought that was cool. Uh, the next thing I bought was a, uh, a little, little tote thing here. This is not the box kind. It's sort of flat, as you can see. And, uh, you can put some albums in here. But what's cool about it is it's got these two little handles. And, um, so it would be good for a wall hanger. And there was a few 45s in here, Glenn Campbell and a few other ones. Nothing, nothing spectacular. But I, I just thought that was cool. Um, there was a, I found a couple of these. They were selling in the twenty to twenty-five dollar range. I got this for twelve dollars, so I think that's pretty cool. All right, let's uh, let's talk about some of the records I got. This first one here, uh, the very first booth I went to had uh, one box of records. It wasn't a record seller, and uh, I really like uh, psychedelic stuff. So uh, I, this immediately caught my attention. So. This is on the crystal label, 20 solid gold hits, stereo. And some of the uh, groups on here, Vanilla Fudge, Janis Joplin, The Animals, Brooklyn Bridge, uh, Derek, The Love and Spoonful, The Turtles, The Righteous Brothers, The Miracles, Benny King, Joe Tex. And uh, yeah, it had a lot of good stuff. Uh, crystal Blue Persuasion. You Keep Me Hanging On, Vanilla Fudge, San Francisco Nights, The Animals, uh, House of the Rising Sun, The Animals. So, uh, yeah, there's a lot of good stuff on here. So, it has a psychedelic cover, which I thought is cool. Isn't that cool? And the vinyl's in good shape. So I thought, hey, why not? A uh, dollar. Got it for a dollar. All right, next, uh, the next one is... Um, this is a uh, group called the uh, the best of PG&E. This is Pacific Gas and Electric, which is a psych, uh, blues, soul, gospel band. Yeah, they there are a lot of things. I, I think they're more known for their psych music, and this is the best of. This was uh, they were you know a band, um, you know they were a band from '67 to '73. Um, they're they're. Their most well-known song is Are You Ready? And uh, it was their biggest hit of their career. And this is the best of. So this came out at the end here. This, is, I think, is a 73 album. And uh, so I was pretty excited about that because I'm collecting, uh, I'm collecting uh, psychedelic stuff, so I thought that was cool. All right, next album for a dollar, uh, Katrina and the Waves. And uh, I, I like... Uh, Walking on Sunshine, I think that's a great song, and, uh, you know, I don't know about the rest of these, but I always liked that song, and the vinyl was good. Uh, I'm more of a 70s music guy. This is more 80s, but I thought, hey, what the heck, for a buck, I'll do it. So I did. All right, the next one, another 80s group, uh, 99 Luft Balloons. Uh, again, 80s stuff. Everybody's familiar with their number one song, their 99 Red Balloons. And uh, I think Hanging On I'm familiar with. I'm not so sure about the, the rest of these. Uh, 
They got uh, over here on side B, 99 uh, Luft balloons. So yeah, it's, it's not too bad. Another 80s group, but again, for a dollar, well, you can't go wrong. All right, so uh, Emerson, Lake, and Palmer. I, I, I saw this record, and the vinyl was really, really good. It's uh, on a uh, on a Colt, I don't know how to pronounce this label, Cotillion Records, which is a division of Atlantic Records. This is a 1971 album. Um, and uh, I'm, I'm, I mean, I know all about Emerson, Lake, and Palmer. They're, they're a prog band. And um, so I thought, hey, this this would be a good buy for, again, for a dollar. How could you beat that? And the vinyl's in really, really nice shape. The cover's not too bad. So, all right, next one. Starland Vocal Band, another dollar record. And uh, everybody knows um, Afternoon Delight. <laughs> yep, Afternoon Delight. Who doesn't like that song? But... Uh, they may have some other good songs on here. Uh, Starland, I think, was a good song, and that. And I always remember that song from the uh, from the movie. I can't think of the name of it off the top of my head right now. But uh, Anchorman, that's it. Anchorman. <laughs> so I really like that, and uh, I thought, well, for a dollar, I might as well go for it. Again, uh, it's got really nice vinyl. Um, a lot of you that follow my YouTube channel uh, know that I restore uh, jukeboxes, and I like jukeboxes, and I probably got about six or 700 jukebox videos. So, um, Also, music, any mechanical music, I sort of like that. So I saw this album for a buck. Uh, it's called uh, Nickel Music, obviously, for playing on Nickelodeons and stuff like that. And I just thought it was cool. And, it, and the other thing is, this is a high-fidelity record. One of the first stereo records made in 1957, so there's a lot of cool, uh, you know, mechanical music uh, themed music on here. So I thought for a buck, actually, no, actually, I got this one for free. I stopped at a place right near the show and the guy gave it to me for free. So, how are you going to beat that? All right, next one, uh, Ray Charles and uh, Stereo Spectrum. Original recordings of Ray Charles and his trio and George Brown's orchestra design spotlight uh, series. So this has got a lot of uh, uh, blue stuff, rock and chair blues, back alley blues, mixed up blues, uh, jumping with Teddy, going down uh, slow, honking blues, snatch mouth blues, <laughs> a lot of blues. But uh, yeah, I guess this uh, this record company did these series of uh, records with uh, a lot of different uh, artists. Sammy Davis, Eddie Cochran, that sort of stuff, Della Reese. It's called a Spotlight Series, and I, I thought that was pretty cool. So again, a dollar. All right, next record, Billy Idol. Now, uh, when I saw this, I thought, oh, there's this is bad. It's got all this, uh, this stuff on it here. But actually, it's in shrink. And uh, that stuff is on the shrink. It's not on the album cover. It's got the hype sticker, which is nice. Rebel Yell, Billy Idol. Classic, uh, you know, really nice album. Nice cover. Um, just super nice. Now, I don't know if this is an original pressing or what, because I see up over here, um, I see the barcode. But I could, I could be wrong about that. We could we could pull it out here and take a quick look. Maybe somebody will know. Um, let's see here. Let's see if I can get it out of here. Really nice, uh, really nice vinyl, as you can see. And uh, it's really nice. It says, uh, let's see here take my glasses off here um 1983 and uh yeah so I, th I think this might be an original pressing so look how look how nice that is that's beautiful isn't it all right let's go ahead and put that to the side i thought that was a great buy um i think i paid uh two dollars for that so i th i just thought that was really really nice all right, so um, this next this next band is uh, I got a little I made a few notes here, so um, 
Let me uh, see if I get Okay, Return to Forever by Chick Cora. Him of the Seventh Galaxy. I thought, wow. I almost thought this was a psych album or something. I, I wasn't sure. I started looking it over. Polydor is the label. And then I looked at the back and I was like, I was looking at some of the uh, the uh, names of the songs. Space Circus, Part 1 and 2. Him of the Seventh Galaxy, After the Cosmic Rain. Yeah, Theme to the Mothership. I thought, wow, that, that is really cool. Just just the titles of the music and that and i was i was like wow this sounds really good so a little information about this return F to forever was the name of the band and chuck core was in it this album is considered one of the classic albums in electric jazz and, and you know it's one of the better jazz fusion albums it took a while i guess this was released overseas and it didn't come out until 1975 so i just thought when i saw this i thought man for a dollar um, it needs a good cleaning, but the vinyl's pretty good. But you can see it's got it needs a really good cleaning. But uh, I'm happy with it. Uh, let's see what's inside here. It does have a nice cover on it, as you can see, which is nice. And uh, it's always nice to have have the original sleeve in there, and it shows a lot of the different albums. You see a Buffalo Springfield here which is nice so that that was really cool all right so let, let's move on um the next the next one i got for six dollars i i paid a little bit for this but this is a three album uh set this is uh this is wings over america and i love uh paul mccartney and wings i just love it um the inside is okay but it's got these you know it's stuck here on the uh, on the edges here, you could sort of see it tore some of the album artwork on the inside. But overall, I mean, it's you know 90% there, and this is a triple album, so there's actually three albums here. And again, the vinyl's in good shape, but it's dirty. It it, it needs to be it needs to be cleaned. But uh, mo most of his biggest hits are on here. Um, you know, like I said, it's a triple album. Here, as you can see and uh, for six dollars I thought it was really really a good buy all right now the next one one of my favorite bands the Buffalo Springfield and um, this was their third uh, studio album uh, Buffalo Springfield again and uh, this is really really nice on the echo label and some of the great songs on this are Mr. Soul and Bluebird and uh, Broke, uh, Rock and Roll Woman. These are great songs. If you've never listened to the Buffalo Springfield, um, I paid. I paid up for this album. Um, I think I spent. Uh, I think I got the price on it. Um, well, he gave me the Paul McCartney album and this album. This was twelve, and the Paul McCartney was six. So I got total for fifteen dollars. So. I did really well. So you could see the vinyl is just, it's really nice, as you can see. And I love this album. This is a really, really good album. So if you like Buffalo Springfield, that's it. So that was a good deal. So, all right, so uh, the next one, Rick, Rick Wakeman. Okay, everybody sort of, if you don't know who Rick Wakeman is, he is, uh, was in the original band, Yes, and uh, he's a keyboardist, he's an English keyboardist, he's best known, for, you know, for being in Yes. Um, interesting that this guy played on David Bowie's Space Oddity, he also did some work for Junior Eyes, T-Rex, and Elton John, and he's known for his solo concept al albums. And believe it or not, this guy made over 90 solo albums, and that doesn't even count what the guy did for um, for with the band Yes. So you're talking about you know using uh, all different sorts of uh, mini moogs and uh, Hammond organs and all sorts of stuff to get great, great uh, um, you know sounds and stuff. So. 
There's the first one, and we'll take a look at the second one. This one's got a cool cover. This was considered a really good album right here. The, it's Rick Wakeman and the now and and the uh, Knights over the Round Table. I think is the name of the album, and this has got a really cool uh, inner part here. You can sort of see that. That's pretty cool. Really, really nice. So I'm looking forward to uh, to checking some of these out. And again, I I uh, think I paid a dollar each for that. All right, so um, this next band is called Angel, and I, I really wasn't sure about this band, but I liked the two albums that I saw. I liked the covers. I could tell it was was mid seventies, and I was like, uh, yeah, maybe I ought to look them up. But they were uh, they were a mid seventies glam rock group, um, and um, Gene Simmons of Kiss discovered them. And um, he got them for the Casablanca label, and they were really pined by the critics, saying they were too feminine and stuff like that. But remember, they're they're glam rock, cool album covers, I think. Um, so I don't know if anybody remembers this group, but I thought, hey, I'd give them a chance for for a buck, or I got three for a buck. So look at look at the artwork uh, on this uh, album cover. I I think it's really really cool and uh, so I figured you know what I'll give it a shot and uh, there you go I'll show you the next one on earth as it is in heaven here's uh, the second one I got and again uh, pretty cool album cover artwork and I thought wow that's pretty nice so I figured well, you know what I'll give it a shot so we'll see if we like it but again um, a buck uh, Asia, really, really cool album cover. Uh, Estrada, or Astra, Astray, A-S-T-R-A, Astray, I guess is the name of the uh, album. Really, really cool album artwork. Got a little ring wear. Really cool. Some of the songs on this. This was made in 85. You've got Go, Voice of America, Hard On Me, Wishing, Rock and Roll Dream, Countdown to Zero, Love Now Till Eternity, Too Late, Suspicion, and After the War. So, all right. All right, and then I saved the best for last, in my opinion. Here we got Spirit, which is a psych band out of Los Angeles, California. Psych, prog, and, and rock and roll. Uh, there's been many different versions of Spirit. Um... 1967 to 73 was their best psych stuff. This was their third uh, studio album, The 12 Dreams of Dr. Sardonius. And uh, yeah, on the Epic label. And uh, this I think is really, really cool. Let's go ahead and show this for you guys so you can see it. You can sort of see uh, that. That's really trippy. Uh, yeah, so the album covers got some of this. I don't know what this is here, but the the the, the vinyl's in really good shape. I'm I'm gonna show you the vinyl here in a second. Let me uh, let me show you the uh, inner cover here. This is this is some trippy stuff. Look at that! Isn't that cool? <laughs> wow! And then over here you've got oh uh, excuse me I. Didn't mean to bump my camera, but let's show you this real quick. Uh, you could sort of see those. Isn't that cool? And then you've got some more over here. Really cool. That's sort of the that's sort of the inner part that you get when you open it up, and then you get to uh, the inner part where it needs to be glued back together, but. Um, here is the uh, inner sleeve epic undercover I guess they're talking about some of their other bands here uh, on both sides and how to subscribe we like to borrow your ears with I don't know what that's called play something so you can sign up for something but I thought I thought it was pretty interesting um, again uh, the album needs to be glued back down but look look at the look how nice this vinyl is it's a pretty nice shape. 
So we're going to give this a listen in a little bit. So we'll show you the back side of the cover. And uh, l listen to some of the uh, tracks on here. Animal Zoo, Morning Will Come, Mr. Skin, When I Touch You, Sweet Worm, Love Has Found a Way, Space Child, Prelude, Nothing to Hide, Why Can't We Be Free, Life Has Just Begun, Nature's Way, and Soldier. Very, very cool. Spirit and the 12 Dreams of Dr. Sardonius, I think is the name, is that's how you pronounce it. So, hey, that's going to do it. That's my uh, record haul. I think I spent a total of, uh, I think around $38 for this haul. And, um, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed it and stay tuned for more VC videos with some more uh, cassette tape hauls, A-track hauls, and, um, some record album uh, hauls that I've been uh, getting at the Rochester Public Market. So, all right, thanks for watching. Have a great day.